Welcome back to the 2024 APP Vlasic Classic Delray Beach. Hope you caught your breath after that mixed doubles gold medal match. A fantastic one, and now we're anticipating another. Men's singles gold medal matchup between Chris Hayworth and J.W. Johnson. You're taking a live look at Chris Hayworth getting warm. Yeah, Chris Hayworth again, one gold medal this year in 2024 in Punta Gorda, so looking to get his second gold medal. Yeah, J.W. Johnson had a little bit of a rough one in Miami. Got knocked out by Anthony Davis. So looking... For a little redemption here in Delray Beach. That's ball. Missing just wide. So if you've been with us all afternoon here on CBS Sports Network in singles, we switch back to rally scoring. So this is a game to 15. All tied up here. Hayworth with the serve. Nice little backhand flick from Johnson. Great angle taken. Big serve from Chris Hayworth. Great job from J.W. Johnson handling it. Johnson, the brother of Georgia Johnson, who we just saw win a gold in mixed doubles here in Delray Beach. And if we know anything about siblings, it's that you want to make sure that yours doesn't beat you. <laughs> Well, J.W. already has a gold medal to his name this weekend. He won gold last night with Dylan Frazier in men's doubles. Oh, that's a nice roll there from Hayworth. You know, and talk about Chris Hayworth and now with Babolat, first sponsored player for Babolat. He's had a little up and down time with the amount of paddles that he's gone through but this week seems to be really liking the new model right there dom you and i looked at it and it says 13 millimeters on the on the paddle we're a little skeptical whether it's 13 millimeter but generates a lot of power a lot of spin we were given chris grief the other day when he was practicing as chad and i were sitting on the sideline we're like 13 we're like more like eight <laughs> and i was talking with chris before this match and he said that's one of the things he really likes about it it is really thin but it's powerful and still can generate a lot of spin so he's been liking it this week here in delray beach jw johnson with the lead here in game one just continuing to kind of trade side outs here no one can really pull away but now jw up by two Another side out here, like you mentioned, Dom. Just not a lot of rhythm being found by either player early on here in game one. Hayworth with the serve. Yeah, good pressure there from Johnson. Nice deep return. Able to come up, really take control of that kitchen line. He was tried to roll it, didn't, wasn't able to get it below the net. And you watch serve to serve, too. You talk about static to dynamic, right? Chris Hayworth, a little more dynamic, a little more movement in his serve. Takes a backswing. A nice point construction from Hayworth, but then the flip side, you go to J.W. Johnson, and he's very static. He's in a stoic, statuesque position before he serves and just goes from there. Seven all, the score for Hayworth serve. A strong angle taken there by Johnson on the overhead winner. Yeah, he's not going to miss that one very often. J.W. Johnson with one of the bigger overheads in the game. Hayworth was in trouble, just tried to flip up a lob. Oh, he was going for body. <laughs> he was. 100%. <laughs> that was a big backswing there. 
And a very aggressive roll. Great spot there. Hayworth changing direction. Staying flat with that ball and gets himself back within one. Hayworth played his collegiate tennis at Oklahoma State. Oh. Uh, looked like that return was just what. Ties us up, 9 all. So Hayworth has, has struggled a couple of times there, both on the forehand and back inside with that passing shot. Just not coming up out of the motion. He uses the legs, but right before contact, he stands up a little tall. A lot of those balls have been flattening out. That yeah. one sails wide, and it's going to be another point here for J.W. Johnson. When Hayworth stays down, stays low, and stays through the shot, he's creating that dipping action, and he's creating a ton of pressure on J.W. Johnson. He's just got to get a little more consistent right now. 10-11, the score for Hayworth's serve. There it is right there. Ooh. Nice textbook two-handed backhand. All square now. Well, At 11, we got french fries on the scoreboard uh, again. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> again, though, I mean, that's rally scoring for you. There's a little bit of a lead. Now there's not a whole lot of lead. Now right. the lead has changed. That's <laughs> how quickly that can happen in rally scoring. I mean, we've seen it. Not even a 10-point lead is safe. Oh, oh falling <laughs> back, but stays through the shot right there. Did Johnson think that ball was going long? He pulled his paddle down. 13, 11. Hayworth got enough topspin on it. Time, goods placement by J.W. Johnson. You notice the gear shift by J.W. Johnson right there? <laughs> Decided to take it from uh, second to fourth real quick. A little more aggressive with uh -huh. the ball is, and a nice passing shot right there. And we're all tied again. Fourth tie already here in game one between these two men. I mean, we're cruising along here because neither one of them remembered they have timeouts. So no one burning anything here. Instead, it's Hayworth with an opportunity to take game one. <laughs> Called himself lazy. Well, I mean, it's partially true. When you call yourself lazy, it's better than us calling him lazy, but didn't quite get to that ball as fast as he would have liked. So a critical point given up there by Hayworth, not just because it was a missed game point opportunity, but because rally scoring must win by two. Oh, nice angles there from Hayworth. You know, I, I'm going to say it right now. This has the potential to be a 22-20 game. <laughs> well, it's 15-14. I'll go... Hayworth would like it to be a 16-14 game. I'll go 19-17. <laughs> <laughs> so it's another game point opportunity here for Chris Hayworth. Oh, we're getting, getting closer. So another tie here in game number one between these two. The one seed, the two seed, understandably evenly matched here in Delray Beach. That's such oh. a good volley from Chris Sideline Hayworth. Sideline the sideline. <laughs> Someone in the crowd trying to will J-Dub here. Instead, Ooh. it is Hayworth's will that has to be bent to. Chris Hayworth takes the win here in game one of our men's singles gold medal match. Game two on the other side of this break on CBS Sports Network. You're watching the APP Classic Classic Delray Beach.
final destination for all states ATP Tour. You can take a look at the rest of our event schedule here in 2024, including additional four to seven. That's the ATP.global. Also, our socials at official ATP Tour. We want to take a look at that. We enjoyed your time here. Our award winning content team does terrific stuff videography wise, photography wise. So take a look. You'll see the contents of this week over the next couple of days at official ATP Tour. The ATP Store is the place to get geared up. You can do so on your way up today. The ATP Store. T shirts, devices, some perfect products, and more. Get geared up today. Game two of our red singles coming up in just a moment. It's the ATP Classic Classic Gallery Beach. Tonight at 8 Eastern, it is all things hoops as we gear up for this year's NCAA Championship Games, plus a spotlight of how one high school girls basketball team found their why to capture the Arizona state title. Watch We Need to Talk here on CBS Sports Network. Game one of our men's singles gold medal match goes the way of Chris Hayworth out of Oklahoma City, taking on J.W. Johnson. Originally from Pittsburgh, Kansas, but now calls Florida home. He and his family moved out here a few years ago and started playing pickleball on a Christmas Eve with neighbors' paddles. And it's been history ever since. At Veterans Community Park in Naples. North Naples. Speaking of Chris Hayworth, there he is, the 30-year-old out of Oklahoma City. Look at that high school tennis All-American no, it's a decent record. record. I mean, 146 I mean, he had five, five losses. Who, only, who has five losses? My Ooh. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that was dirty right there from Chris Hayworth. Good movement. And then the little two-handed flick down the line. So a strong start here to game number two for Hayworth. And just as I say that, side out. So J.W. Johnson on the board. Yeah, that's a 97.3% win percentage for Hayworth in high school. Did you just math that's, on your that's, phone? That's pretty. Yeah, I'm not going to do percentages in my head. Absolutely not. I need round numbers for that one. Oh, look at that <laughs> angle there from Hayworth again, using his height and his length to his advantage, creating an angle on that forehand. Three, one. So a 3-1 lead here, Hayworth with the serve. Ooh, that's a big forehand down the line. Good footwork and good body positioning there for Hayworth. Got around the ball nicely. And a 4-1 lead. That's a huge lead in this one. Especially given how many ties we had in game one. <laughs> oh, he's right going the body. Yeah, that's the spot, though, right there. Johnson covers both sides, backhand and forehand, so well. Hayworth jams him up. Hayworth continues to pull away here in game number two, and understandably, J.W. Johnson deciding to burn the first timeout we've seen here in this men's singles 
gold medal match. He trails by five to Hayworth, who took game one. What does JW need to do to adjust here out of the timeout? Well, JW's strength is his cat and mouse game. Right now, Hayworth isn't even letting him get into the cat and mouse game. So, in reality, I think you know JW needs to change speeds a little bit, junk it up a little bit, add some spin, keep that ball a little bit lower. So now Hayworth not able to really step into that drive, or if he is, he's kind of lunging for it. Elevate some ball, so giving an easier volley for JW to try to create something with. Hayworth started out 2024 with a gold medal in men's singles in Punta Gorda and then second stop in Sacramento, took him a bronze, but missed the podium in Miami, which was the last stop out here on the tour. Oh, that's so clean right there from Chris Hayworth. But again, the biggest difference there, feeder set, doesn't try and overhit this. He creates some more shape. Not enough shape on that one to get it to fall inside the baseline. So Johnson with the second point here in game two. That's great work there from J.W. Johnson, continuing to stay in that point. And he mixed in a drop on there, in there, Chad, to try and work a little cat and mouse possibly. Couldn't get up, but there it is again. He's trying to drop that in there and change the pace. Yeah, just cut across the body a little bit there. A little too quick on the finish. Hayworth almost gets there, but Johnson just putting a perfect amount of spin on that ball. And that, that all started with a good aggressive return there from Johnson. Allowed him to start getting Hayworth moving. Oh, there's a nice drop there from Johnson, and it's similar to what you wanted him to do, Chad. He's changed the pace up, created more shape, getting the ball down in the kitchen on his thirds instead of trying to hit through Hayworth all the time. Another good third shot there from J.W. Johnson, adding a little bit of shake going low over the net and across the body on Hayworth. And Hayworth wants a timeout here to try and slow this rhythm down that J.W. Johnson found. What was a six-point lead has dwindled down to just two. What do you think Hayworth needs to focus on out of this timeout to get Big Mo, as you like to call it, Dom, back on his side? Well, I mean, J.W. Johnson's done a good job of neutralizing the power of Chris Hayworth on the last couple of points by changing the pace, creating some more dip on his shots, trying to drop the ball in the kitchen. Hayworth's counter right now is if he sees that drop, I'd like to see him just back off of it. Don't try and have to reach for it and have to get it out of the air. You can back off it, let it bounce, and then pull the trigger, then get back up. But if he can reach it out of the air, take it out of the air, anything that's about waist high, and put pressure on Johnson. So he's got to make a good read here. Big return needed. Coming out of this yeah. timeout, I'd go big return to the backhand side. was a big return he did go to the forehand but then immediately went to the backhand but he did take a step back off of jw johnson's drop and then he pushed that ball back to the baseline nice adjustment from hayward pretty beautiful placement you see johnson hold his paddle back but that ball well inside well he sets it up like he's going to take it down the line and then just comes across the body See, right there, he almost hops through it, right? He comes out of it too quick. So ball back on the side of Johnson. Seven, trailing ten. by three here in a game which he must win if he wants Ooh. to keep his gold medal hopes alive. One point closer. Yeah, big serve there from Johnson. Never really came up. 
just inside the baseline. Yeah, if, if it gets to that, where they're both up at the kitchen line, it's a little bit more of an advantage to J.W. Johnson. He loves to play that cat and mouse. Holds the ball on his paddle really well, waits for you to make a move. Johnson trailed by six at one point in Ooh. this game. Tried for the around. Just missed the opportunity to tie things up. Tried for the around the pole, three quarters down the, three, four, three quarters up the court. Didn't miss it by much. Oh, that's clean down the line. But Johnson expecting something, I think, well, more to the middle. The, the cross court roll yeah. right here. But instead, Hayworth dials it up down oh. the line. Missed it by a couple of inches. Just didn't quite get underneath it enough. So it's back on the side of J.W. Johnson. Trailing by two. Into the net, though, he misses that shot. Well, rally scoring. Hayworth will take that free point here, especially within two of taking the gold medal here. But that time, the two-handed backhand from Johnson just all the way cross-court. Practically into the DJ booth with that one. Well, now if Hayworth can hold here, get to 14, and right there he does on the miss serve from Johnson. Puts Hayworth at 14. So Chris Hayworth with the ball and a chance to win the gold medal right here. There and it is. does. A beautiful serve from Chris Hayworth to win our men's singles gold medal here at the APP Vlasic Classic, Delray Beach. Well done by the 30-year-old out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. We're going to hear from him on the other side of this break right here on CBS Sports Network.
Well, Chad, Chris Hayworth played extremely well throughout this whole match. But what was the biggest difference maker for him here for you? Well, I think it was the adjustment of his contact point and his body. He started staying down through the shot and executing. And he was getting the shape on those balls that were really able to drop inside the baseline. And we're going to throw it down to A.J. McCord, who's caught side with Chris. Chris, a really tightly contested game one, and then you came out game two and started pulling away from the very first few points. How did you do that? Um, you know, well, I was down the, the most of the first game, so even when I had a lead in the second game, you know, anything can happen, especially with rally scoring, uh, and, it, and it did. It got really close in the second, so I was glad to pull it out. And you started this 2024 with a gold in Punta Gorda, missed the podium in Miami a few weeks ago, back on top here. How did you adjust your game to get back on top of the podium? Yeah, I was definitely a little disappointed in Miami. You know, that, that was a major tournament, and I, I had one of my weakest results. But, you know, that's pickleball. It's day-to-day, -day, especially in singles. The margins are so slim. So uh, just refocused, tried to work on my game, and came back strong. Two gold medals already here on the APP Tour in 2024, just the first weekend of April. How much does that say to you about the advancements in your game from last year to this year? Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with how I'm playing right now. Obviously, uh, winning gold is a huge accomplishment, but I think there's, like, 11 or 12 more tournaments in the year, so the year is still young. Uh, a, lot to, a lot to work on and uh, a lot to, more to accomplish. A great start, though. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you. Well, Chris Hayworth is gold here in Delray Beach. Chad, he looked just really impressive again. The shape he's getting, he made the paddle change. Seems very comfortable with this new Babylon paddle. Well, and like you said, didn't have the performance like he had wished in Miami. I'm going to attribute that a little bit to the newer paddle. Wasn't quite familiar with the shape, didn't know which one that he wanted to play with. He's really liking this new shape, the thinness of it. The power, the control, the spin that he gets from it. So congratulations to Chris Hayworth, our men's singles gold medalist here in Delray Beach.